total atomic annihilation. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tales of Horror. This is Nuke here, and today we're continuing our look at Penumbra by Frictional Games. Their debut title before they really hit big with Amnesia. And, uh, yeah, so we're playing as a young man named Philip who, after the death of his mother, found a letter from his father saying, hey, don't come to this place, and of course, we did what every you know, horror protagonist does. We went to the place we weren't shouldn't have gone to. Uh, so we're stuck in some kind of mind, and yeah, we know some more things are going in here. We're not alone. There's some really not pleasant dog in here with us. Uh, yeah, we learned the hard way combat is combat's horrible. Oh boy, yeah, we need to try and avoid fighting if we can. Let's be sneaky. Uh. We were able to get into a back portion of the mine from where we were at. Don't have a map. So far, yeah, things are a little, little slow. They, some of the interacting with things could be a little, a little janky. Yeah, it's a gel cell. Looks like it. I think we God more spider webs. Hope that hole is there before the spiders, not the other way around. Uh probably not that lucky. Hopefully our flashlight will scare them off. It needs this it's almost full. Let's see, we got the padlock, which I'm not I have no idea what we'd even need that for. With the back strings, we're trying to make explosives. We got our beef jerky for the dogs. Get yeah, we can put that up there. Painkillers in case we're hurt. Drop that up there as well. And why not the flares? Okay. Uh, yeah, things are going a little slow. There's some mystery here, so there's some potential. There is some potential. We're going to stick with this. Let's go. There was one little room here. Let's check this out real quick. Looks ancient. So old I didn't, don't even know what it could have been used for. It could just be a piece of ice reflecting light, or more likely my imagination. Something's definitely catching my eye under these rocks. Can I... No, I can't do that. Oh, I see a... I see a pick. I... Yep, we can get that. So could I that? There. Okay. Yeah, this is probably not the right place to open a carpentry business. Okay, so I got a pickaxe. That's a slightly better weapon than the hammer. Oh, 
But at the same time, I probably don't want to try and find that out. Lit. Break that. Uh, this place is in a serious state. Did that railing come off through despair, or was it ripped off? What's the need to rip it off? You just Walk around. Oh. No that's your fence. And it's been put up recently. Better find a way to get over it. No, uh yeah. Back up. Need Here, I maybe, maybe jump over. I think I want a little bit more. Yeah, apparently, I'm not using. Of these boards. Okay. Come on, come on, come here. A little janky again. Let's go ahead the second one just in case. Go the other way. Loose batteries powering the fence. Can't be that long ago this was all set up. I smash it. No, and that's probably the smart I did to not smash. Explosives. Ah, uh, this is more like it. Yeah, this is promising. Lock, damn it. How am I going to get in there now? Door does look very weak and old. Okay, uh. There we go. Perfect. A gunpowder keg. There's only a small hole in the top, though, not big enough to reach in. We're gonna. I'm not gonna just smash that. Okay, we got dynamite. I think. Okay. 
Okay, it just looks like an old fashioned bomb. Uh. Nope, nothing too practical here. I mean, that looks like rope. Be able to use that as a use. Okay, this is. No, not quite. Yeah, maybe don't like the fuse on the bomb. Or. Yeah. Uh. Curious. Dry cone powder. That's what I need. We. I need. I need a bag. Okay, I guess I can't drop out all those nails and take that. There's more dynamite. Help. Go do Oh, I think we turned it off, didn't we? Oh we did. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, uh, I I do have my notebook. Do list. Uh, explosives book. Need string. Okay, so we gotta coat the string in the back string. Do. Dynamite. Okay, okay, that works. Uh, use that with that. Now we can roll the string. Dynamite. There. And... Okay. I still missing something. Still. I got the dynamite. Maybe I just can't combine them here. Any more dynamite anywhere? Okay, so they're too wet to 
go. Oh, damn. Wrong way. Uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find where that cave in is. Maybe we only need the two pieces of dynamite, or can't grab any more string. So we are not where we explosive. I think we're at the workshop. But there was a barrel of explosives over there. Maybe we need to take the explosive, push those over to the Haven. Then use the fuse on that barrel. And perhaps that'll be big enough. Careful though. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. there go R. he's at there. Yeah, I have a fuse. The other way. Yeah, don't come over here. That's some problems. Definitely a disease of some sort. Okay, look this way, I am just a moving barrel. Explosives. Perfectly normal. We'll see this stuff every day. I'm invisible. Okay, we're going the right way. 
going the right way. Okay. And... Use... Way down over here. Okay, might have been a little excessive. Dog noticed us. And not much of an opening, but it'll have to do. Hot holding was always terrifying me. When I look back, I can't think that what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance of still being alive. Something as ridiculous as facing adversity, coming out on top. Now, I know I would have been better off starving or being mauled to death. Then kickstarting the chain of events that led me to end here, writing to you. Just hope once you understand my story, you will have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. I certainly didn't. But you're saying things are not going to end well for us. Oh, I guess we took a fall. Okay, I mean... Porsche containers. Empty. All for us. Nothing hidden away. Crunching more dogs, maybe we could go I didn't to there for some safety. Maybe some water pipes. Noises down here are so elegant compared to the way sounds travel on the surface. That rock fall almost sounded organic, like rock screaming. I think we're getting to more of the bunker part of this mine from the war. Look at thing. I guess this is the troll panel for that generator. Probably so. Wonder how many accidents they have before this is put up. Better to think. I guess kind of far. Oh, a little bit of a fall, but there's a. Nose. Let me find active screen being electrocuted by the generator. Maybe this thing's huge, it must be about 3.5 megawatts, but it's pretty old. Certainly, enough to light a few light bulbs, though. Lever. Less disciplined than man than myself might be tempted to pull it. Just to find out what it does. Air blind experimentation doesn't achieve anything. What was the thing bar jolted down? How did it turn on the generator? Battery symbol on the side, but it's welded tight shut. If they had some kind of machine for open these, it's not here anymore. The 
The walls of this hole aren't as uniform as the rest of the shafts. Why take it out by hand? Uh, okay, maybe we could push that down to wavelength drops down. Okay, to those other batteries, silver generator type 7G. Congratulations on your purchase from the Type 7 project line. You're certain that you'll be pleased with your new petrol-driven electrical backup system. Below are highlight just a few of the added and improved features of the 7G model. Avoid personal wear and tear. The wind-up startup motor has been replaced with a battery-driven unit. Grease in the industrial workplace can be an accident-inducing insurance nightmare. Enjoy the new increased grease control system. Electrical installation can be expensive to install and maintain so the economical 7G basic model, rise without, and much, much more. Okay. Ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of equipment and personnel in case of overheating. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Release excess steam until pressures within safety limits. Again, grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Turn main valve and confirm primary flow. Full operation letter, check energy output, you should, should be fully functional. Okay, uh. Okay. And some stuff. A, uh, symbols worn out. I should be able to work out what all this does. Symbol for water. Okay, that's going to be the grease. Maybe steam. That's water. That's the Primary valve. Move. Battery thing over here, no. Just spark the starter motor. I suppose I can't get that battery after all. I think I know how to get a battery. I think I know how to get that battery. Now, please don't be anything down here. No giant spiders, preferably. They're whispering? Be in here? Here. Okay. So first we need Okay, secondary flow first. Go. Followed by cooling system, which should be water. And 
it was. Excess steam. I think it was grease. Grease the main valve. Then hopefully we're not going to get a little, little shock here. He's box. Okay, uh, now we need a a new fuse. Up here. Only remember the battery down there. Open any of those. All right, so let's. Look around elsewhere. See if we can find bear few. Storage auxiliary shaft. Air. I think we're all right. We're all right. Uh. This is somewhere more new. Back out. That flashlight doesn't go that quickly. Okay. Both of January 72. Boys, I'd come have a word with you myself. I've got more important things to do than piss about making sure you're all doing your jobs properly. Now, I know there's a certain amount of Shamer Day. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Between you lot, playing pranks and jokes on each other, it comes with territory. And that's fine, so long as you don't add me to your list. God knows you need something to keep you entertained down here. However, we all know full well that Penrose has some very deep-seated issues with this hide. Anyone who thought it would be a good idea to sabotage this generator, then hide all the spare fuses on the top shelf in the storeroom, would quite clearly need his head examined. You got me. In other news, Jones, I want the inventory done yesterday. The rest of you, not all fun and games you hear. On a serious note, another radio has gone missing. You better hope to God that means one of you has lost it. It's still ain't a petty, pretty word in my book. Third one this month, which means that amnesty on coming clean is fast coming to a close. Then there will be repercussions. Got it? What's strange is you're all supposed to be working in pairs, 
then nobody should be able to get their hands on a radio without the other spotting it. When I find out who's responsible, I won't find out how they got away with it so long, then we'll fling them out into the snow and leave them there. They'll just disappear into the night just like all those radios. Harvard, be my informant. Okay. Bare radio parts don't look spare at all. Like they've all been put here. Recently. Yeah, we got a radio. The beeping comes from the speakers. Here's someone out there after all. I guess this isn't the storeroom. I don't see. It's a narrow band communications radio. Huh. I remember building one of these in my first electronics class. Probably did a better job of it as well. Did not want to do that. Okay. Stuff off. Stay up there. Should be. Radio room. Came from here. Okay, I'm thinking. It says 50 amp fuses, but the box is still is empty. Both contents can't be far away. So up top, beef jerky. Emergency procedures. In the event of emergency, all mine workers are asked to follow the standard emergency procedure. Detailed in the leaflet provided. Rescue services will already be on their way. So under no circumstances should employees attempt a colleagues themselves or contact the emergency services. Wow, really? Always contact. This code sheet is provided for use in the extremely unlikely event you are trapped in the mine, with no way in, which to signal or otherwise contact emergency crews. In this scenario, you should ensure the stability of the surrounding environment by gently tapping and filling the rock. Once you feel certain there is no risk of rock slide, check to see if you have any form of communications device at hand attempt to send a distress signal using the code sheet. Such device be unavailable or damaged. Again, firmly tapping out a message on the wall of the cave. Rescue crews will hear you and arrive promptly to dig you out. Code. Got a broom. I'm going to use the broom. Thing. Yep, that did it. Did it. We're going to keep the room on. Okay, apparently we're going to keep the room. exactly you were referring to there. That 
back up there. Good. So, hi, Mary. Come on. Water. Steam. Grease. Primary. Secondary was first. Secondary. And we got. We got magic. Yeah, we got a little bit of light. That's some light. Beautiful. I bet that got gate up there working. Don't have to come back, so we'll grab the batteries. Lots of light. <sighs> I need code. Need. Light at the end, beginning, and middle of the tunnel, but some things remain shrouded in darkness. My Morrissey message, I hope, has helped. But what you need now is to the wall hole to the right of the fence. Oh, go now, there is no time to explain. Well, in fact, time is one of the few things we have in abundance down here. What well, surprises are spoiled by such catty curiosity? Okay, what the hell is going on down here? Goddamn, the radio is useless. Uh, what hole in the fence? Okay, uh... Dog. Don't make me fight the dog. Maybe? Lock the dog in. That for a sec. Okay. Uh. Okay, give me a minute. I got to figure out what this code is. Okay, I think I got it. Got it. Here, because he was coming through. Damn. Hey, run. Okay, okay, this bat, this bat, this bat, this bat. Okay. 
run. That. Okay, uh. Okay. Face him. Face him. Face him. Face him. Hit him. Oh, come on. Oh, he can't turn. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. We absolutely don't want to fight. I know what I want to. He's not going for the food. He's not going for the food if he sees me. Okay, this this is a problem. Hey, run! Okay, really? Okay, this. Oh my god, this sucks. Okay. So. Under any circumstances, do we not want to try fighting? Because uh, you cannot look and move at the same time. is you not see me keep panel evacuation or excavation storage tool shed or here and go through this one like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, earth. come on. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. Oh, you gotta be joking me. You gotta be joking with me. Ah, uh, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. For this task, we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It is a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. Back. No one. Real careful, these dogs. Problem is, once you 
go to swing your weapon, you cannot look. You are stuck in that view. Yeah, trying to time those hits is not being fun. Not at all. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, uh, got excavation. my mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. You're a pox, down here. A pox on both your brain cells. Try as I may, you must think that I just no, just with my cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy, freshly rolled in its own feces. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have okay, left. Dude's out of his mind. Box should be ancient as rest of the mind, but looks better, Nick. Um, I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient pivot. Uncontrollable and often rolling in shit. Better safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A tunnel lies between a nearby watery cave and the place where things are kept. Take the second right from the closed door and you will find what you seek. Hey, okay. looks like some kind of excavation. Although not like any mining operation I've ever seen. Don't know where that mist is coming from. I don't fancy getting close to find out. Maybe that's what's driving everybody crazy. Big flat plane of rock, probably used for loading. Almost looks like some kind of altar. Okay. Test substance continues to defy identifications. Both chemical and xeno investigations fail to produce meaningful results. Testing continues. Test 102, bromine test, normal, pH 5. Test 103, acid amide test, negative. Test 104, Ammonia NH3, negative, unreactive. Test 105, hydrochloric acid solution, negative for sulfate, sulfide, and chloride ions. Test 106, standard hallucinogenics, mild intoxicant, test abandoned due to most test subjects, suffering massive internal hemorrhaging within one, two hours. Maybe we don't want to be over here. Test 107, positive, negative, metal, cash, Patients incomplete. Test 108, human hallucinogenics incomplete. Testing of the gaseous fog has been considerably more successful. It appears to be a harmless blend of sulfur, chlorine, and aromatic amine. Gives it the floating visual effect. Please note that harmless here is used in the xenochemic sense. It's harmless as far as we have identified it, and so we can take the necessary safety measures. If directly ingested, it would naturally be lethal. Test 159, potassium decorate paper, positive for sulfur. Litmus test, negative for all but chlorine. Hydrochloric acid solution, positive for aromatic imine. Work continues on the issue of transporting the substance. So far, removing it from its dormant location causes its base state to radically change. Reducing massive heat to the detriment of three workers one who's no longer operational due to his injuries. Following heat dissipation, the substance appears to turn dead, unreacted to every test we have the equipment to run. The only theory is that somehow, the disruption of the material causes it to either cause it to enter a hugely accelerated chemical decay. We estimate its half-life to be approximately 0.4 seconds. Man still clutching, Still looking for what? Formalized metal jutting awkwardly from Earth. Hatch, a portal, a hole, a door. Unfamiliar text. Who are these figures all around? What secrets are hidden behind the faces? 
felt something that time that I didn't feel before. I'm sure it's always been there. As if a small part of me is still trapped inside the artifact. A stronger piece of this ladder has been shattered by something strong enough to rend metal in two. Uh. Yeah, I think we were supposed to go the other way in that one area. Damn. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus, we got a dog. It has something my back to something. Oh. Kind of huge. Have storage. Need a in. Over to the tool shed. That's just straight. Auxiliary shaft. Need more dogs. We still had a couple pills, but. Want to say those? There. Saw. Batteries to leave those. Okay. Cement mixer, no reason why it wouldn't still be working. Nice. In here. Uh, Dino Report 66B, Phase 9, Annual 902, Annual Dom 992, followed by Chief Attending Xeno Officer for the eyes of the leading installation officer only. Leader, 
Unlike the other findings, 66B appears to be of manufactured rather than natural origin that warrants additional interest, and need I say security. The bulk of substance 63 was discovered only six yards from where artifact 66B was buried. Here's, at least in part, consists of a sulfide form of 63 with a number of operable appendages. The artifact emits a low level of light from a seemingly exhaustible energy supply, suggesting its origin is indeed as we suspected. Of course, the ramifications of this fact are clear and appropriate measures are already being taken. Progress in becoming enlightened as to the purpose of the device, if indeed served a purpose in the traditional sense at all, has been slow. Following protocol to the letter, I assigned my secondary officer to the artifact on phase 7, only for him to go missing the following day. He eventually returned to the site from a previously uncharted area of the mines, presumably having discovered a new route avoiding the caves in. At this stage, we can only assume that what transpired, since he remains in a state of disorientation. Far be it from me to question the decisions of the elevated cast, I am struggling to understand the necessity of conducting standard scientific testings in this case. I, of course, have full faith in the abilities of the research team, put together and sent here by my immediate superior. I simply wonder whether the time might be better employed on the main site. Nevertheless, it is comforting to know what, that the actions of every member of the organization are carefully choreographed and controlled by those far outranking myself, both in stature and wisdom, and with this in mind, I feel fully justified in filling, filing an official request for further manpower. I've already lost a number of workers to unforeseen events, largely while engaging in the studies I mentioned earlier. A further investigation of the area calls for volunteers to carry out tasks altogether too hazardous in nature to risk. While being a more elevated organization members, in particular, the tunnel system above the secondary site requires media cartography. What they found? Okay. In wood for us to cut through. Or is that a cone? I think it's a cone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a cone. That is a dog, though. Uh. Map again. Anything in excavation found a way into storage. This dog's just wandering this tunnel here by White Hill. We'll move so I can run over here. Maybe. Try this trick again.
Beef jerky. Oh, dang, he... Okay. Okay, I gotta get weapon out. I gotta get... Okay. Ah. Alright, well, I think we were on something there. Dog. Try that one more time, <laughs> otherwise, yeah, I'm giving up on them things. <sighs> Definitely not a game built around combat. Wait. A few more boxes over here. He could definitely not get out of there. Okay, another note. Use the salt through there. No, you are not coming out there. Yeah. <laughs> Still make this work. We can still make this work. Okay. Uh. So, couple notes. Maybe, maybe the boxes are kind of safe if we jump on top of them. More importantly, yeah, they can knock. They can knock through these doors. So. area
Okay, we're gonna come um, stupid. Yep, yeah, something stupid. Could have been one way dealing with the dog. I don't think the dogs are in here anymore, maybe. Going to try and use those. Those are dangerous. can't I don't know okay uh, I guess we're gonna find out sooner than I thought Oh dang it, oh dang it, oh dang it, oh dang it, come on, oh, oh my god, oh, it's so bad, it's so bad. Okay, I think we're going to end this episode here, because... Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to have to find a way to really deal with these dogs a little better. Yeah, he could push the box out from underneath me. And once you start swinging your weapon, you cannot look around. You cannot look around. Yeah. Uh, do some planning. Really got to get him over to box. The box is in the corner. Hopefully he can't push it around. I think that's going to be the plan. Yeah, so we'll try that out next time. We'll have to probably do a little experimentation because... Yeah, some of these dogs are going to have to take out... Oh, well. You need to have here to be held up. That's something. Alright. So, thanks for joining me, guys. I do appreciate y'all.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I saw the channel a lot. I'll see you guys next time. Some more Penumbra Overture.